Hey guys, what's up? Splendid Gaming here and Catacombs Cup has been announced. I was looking at all the possible Pokemon that I have. I'm of course using the PvP Poke rankings and looking at the top Pokemon, the Pokemon that I have myself and two of the Pokemon actually Frostless and Skuntank that I used recently in the Sorcerer's Cup are eligible as well. Beedrill, another Pokemon that was recently available. We got the Drill Run from the Community Day and is a really good Sorcerer's Cup pick as well. Is eligible here as well. So we have Rock type, Water types, Ice, Grass, Bug and Dark. I think the, these six types could be the core of our team we could have at least one rock type at least one water type at least one ice type at least one grass one bug and one dark i'm looking at umbreon here i have only one umbreon with last resort it is so uh, costly to power it up and give it a new attack so i will hold on to it for now and we have zuelius uh, let's evolve this let's get the evolutions done that zuelius with its dragon breath spam is really really good so if i have to pick one between umbreon and zuelius i'll probably pick zuelius because umbreon will be everywhere and it will have its counters everywhere as well so let's see how it goes and i got my zuelius here and I'll hold on to it as well. Let's get things done. Sudowoodo is actually looking really, really good for this cup and you need to have counter on it and counter in this cup because of, you look at the top three Pokemon here, they are dark type and they are, there is the ice type. So Sudowoodo with counter with, will uh, just counter them with the fast type move. And we got rock slide and earthquake earthquake for all the poison types going around and uh, we got rock slide that we can hit ice types with also we can hit the bug types and what else we have flying types as well vespiquen is flying as well so we can hit it with the rock slide and what else lepros could be hit with counter as well as with rock slide Venusaur with the Earthquake, Caracosta, Caracosta very interesting Pokemon I am thinking of using it is Water and Rock so we can hit it with Counter as well. This is the reason Pseudo Widow is so uh, highly ranked. Let's prepare our Pseudo Widow. let's just go ahead. Fortunately I think I have candies for every Pokemon around here. It uh, It is a good IV pseudo would unfortunately lot of other Pokemon that you see around here are not good IVs even the frostless frostless is extremely bad IVs but uh, it's just powered up to 1500 and I don't have much options with the frostless so we got rock throw rock slide stone edge we do not want that let's see what we want we want to rock slide and earthquake encounter we do not want any of these moves so let's go to TMs, we got counter, go to a charge TM, whoa we want rock slide right, oops I accidentally removed what I wanted, we got rock slide and earthquake, alright so we got a perfect pseudo for the catacombs cup and uh, Drapion is looking really good. We got Aquatail and the most important thing is Ice is important. I am not having much here except for this Frostless which I may not use because there is so much Dark type and Drapion with Ice Fang could be the answer. So for now I am gonna use, I am gonna remove both these moves. I am gonna remove the Bite. And I'm gonna also remove the sludge bomb here. Oh man. I do not have way too many TMs to spare, so let's see if we get lucky here. I got Aquatail. Alright, I, I can practice with Aquatail for now. And we got 
Kara Costa, Rock Throw, Body Slam, and Surf. And we got Rock Throw and Body Slam already, and it uh, goes beyond 1500, so this is fine. We got Skunk Tank, Skunk Tank's suggested movies Poison, Jab, Crunch, and Flamethrower. So we're gonna get rid of that sludge bomb here. We got Flamethrower. Alright. And this B drill. What are the suggested moves on the B drill? It's Poison Jab, X Scissor, and Drill Run. So we got Poison Jab and X uh, Drill Run. Wow, we do not have enough candies. Oh, I spent all the candies during the community day. Uh, I'm not gonna use uh, rare candies, or sh will I end up using rare candies? Let's see if we can power it up to 1500. We cannot even power it up. Oh man. Alright, anyways, Beedrill is looking really good and this is very high IV Beedrill. So I cannot let this go. We got high IV Sudoguro, high IV Beedrill. Shiftry, Shiftry looking good to me personally. And Shiftry is a bit low here. But it got the dark type fast move. And it super fast charges to leaf blade and hurricane hurricane so good because so many grass and bug types so shift tree looking really really good to me and you can see it has the community day move i will remove the community day move if i decide to use the shift tree which is fine i have higher iv shift tree with bullet seed so i can remove the move here and if you go to the last row that is a potentially very important row as well. I'm gonna evolve all these Pokemon and I do not have a good Mechargo for the Great League. Should I get it right now? I believe I should and because it, 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 it works in a lot of Silph Cups and I can make good use of it it's it's just 10,000 dust for the second move let's see how much dust we will be spending that is a lot of dust for making it a 1500 I will leave it up there for now for now and I will come back to it thinking whether or not to use the dust whether it is worth it or not we, we got rock and fire typing so we hit the ice types very hard and what else do we hit with the mecargo we hit the flying types we hit the bug types we hit uh, ice bug and flying and we hit the grass types so we are doing good here we are doing good we are double weak to water so it's it's worth considering right it's worth considering so let's uh, try to see how much this uh, scully bead costs us 58000 and 68000 this this is okay even though we evolved it from 10 cp but it is fine let's get this septile as well septile looking good as well similar to shiftry but has its own advantages and disadvantages over shift tree i can definitely consider running septile as well and uh, so for now what have i come to conclusion like what i'm definitely using is one of the umbreon and zuelos so i'm gonna use one of those i'm definitely gonna use pedro let's see i can use rare candy there and I have caught a lot of Beedrill which uh, I can transfer, alright, we can get the candy from there. And uh, I can definitely use Drapion, Sudowoodo and Drapion, Sudowoodo, Beedrill, Umbreon or Zuelas. That gives us 4 Pokemon and Caracosta could be there, mm, Skuntank could be there. Let's see, I'm thinking uh, Mecargo as well. So, uh, should we should we create a Pokemon right now? Like, we got 187 dust. We are running out of dust here. 
31,075,000. Let's let's create our embryon here. Let's get it done with the embryon. We got 1491 embryon, and I'm gonna give it a new attack. We need the foul play here. We got Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is pretty much equally good move as Foul Play, but we need a little faster charging Foul Play here. We got Faint Attack. That's not what we want, right? We want Snarl here. So let's uh, go to Fast TM and we got Snarl. We got our Umbreon. We got our Sudavudo. We can get our Drapion, but I'm gonna think about the Dust here. And the the lowest row here now, including the Sceptile, Shift Tree, Sceptile, Scolipede, and Mecargo. Mecargo is the one I am really thinking of using. Beedrill we can use, can definitely use, and so can every other Pokemon. So this is a bit confusing now. If we consider the Rock type, I think Sudowoodo is getting the things done if we think about dark type we got the umbreon and ice typing we can get it done with drapion so those three pokemon look good poison and bug is done with b drill we are getting four pokemon there and fifth and sixth i will contemplate maybe after doing some practice and maybe watching other people like YouTube and see what the pros are using so that's it that's my behind the scenes creating the team for a cup and uh, it's no way complete or anything close to complete but it's an insight to how I think and do the stuff before a tournament begins well, hopefully you learn something and it helps you build your own team Leave a like, subscribe, comment how you like the video and I will see you next time.